Hi, I'm Michael Brisbane, PJ Professional and Director of Instruction at Azalea City Golf Course in Mobile, Alabama. In a little rush here to get this video done, it looks like it might rain any minute now. If you're a subscriber of mine on YouTube, I want to thank you. And I know you know that I haven't posted any new videos in quite a while. I kind of fell out of the habit. But I wanted to come in here today and do this video. And I want to show you all a drill that I've been doing with some of my students over the past couple of months and having some really, really good success with them. So I wanted to share this video with y'all and, and, and maybe this, this drill will help you. The drill is basically just rehearsing and practicing proper impact, okay? Now, to have proper impact in golf, we need to swing our club shaft on plane, we need to have a square club face, and we need to be moving the golf club and our arms with our body's pivot. So this little drill, as simple as it's going to seem, really, really works with those three things. It really helps you get that club face square. It really helps you to be swinging the shaft on plane. So let me go over the, what we're looking at here in this drill. I'm going to start off facing you and just show you how I want the pivot working in this drill. When we get set up to a golf ball, we have our hands together. And if you look at my two arms, they form the letter V. Now you add the golf shaft in there with my arms and now we've got the letter Y, okay? All I ever tell my students is, is I want them moving the Y with their pivot. I want them moving the, the Y on the backswing and the forward swing with their, with their pivot. I want the Y to stay in front of them, all right? Now, all we're going to be doing in this drill is making swings about waist high to waist high or club shaft parallel to the ground to club shaft parallel to the ground. So move the Y on the backswing, move the Y on the forward swing. All right, now let's talk about swing plane. Swing plane is the path that the golf club travels on. And I'm sure all of y'all have seen or have taken golf lessons and, and instructors are drawing lines on the computer screen or video screen, whatever they're using, and they're, they're seeing how the club travels on that line, that swing plane. But when we're on the driving range, we don't have lines, okay? And it's very difficult to understand if we're on plane or not. So I've set up a little station here to help us out. I've got two alignment sticks, one behind, one in front, and they are both aimed at my target, which is a red flag out there on the driving range. I'm sure you can't see the flag on this video, but I've taken my time and I've set this station up so that I have these two sticks. These two sticks are now representing my target line. And here's an very old definition of swing plane that still holds true today and it works really really well while you're on the range and the definition goes like this that one end of the shaft of my club or the other end of the shaft has to always point at the target line okay it's pretty simple so if you could imagine i've got a laser light pointing out of the bottom of my club that laser light needs to trace the target line. And if you look right here, I've got this golf shaft pointing right at the back of that stick. If this, light, if this line kept going, if my target line kept going, that laser light would just trace it all the way back until my shaft gets parallel to the ground. Now, when my shaft is parallel to the ground, the shaft needs to be parallel to the target line. So one end of the shaft or the other end must always point at the target line unless the shaft is parallel to the ground, then the shaft needs to be parallel to the target line. Now, we're not gonna worry about up here. We're not gonna make a swing that's that big, but if we did get up here, the butt end of the club would be pointing at the target line. So all I wanna do is I want to trace the target line. I'm taking it back, moving the Y with my pivot, on the downswing, I retrace the line coming down. Now notice I'm approaching the ball from the inside. This is the inside of the ball. That is the outside of the ball. I would make contact. Then my pivot would keep moving and my shaft would point at that target line on the follow through as well, excuse me, until my club shaft got back to parallel to the ground and then it's gonna be parallel to the target line, okay? So very simple, okay? Now let's talk about club face. Club face is square. What part of our body controls a club face? The back of our lead wrist. For us right-handed players, it's our left wrist. Left-handed players, it's your right wrist. And I want that wrist to be flat at impact. I want to get to impact and I want my left wrist to be flat. We do not ever want our left wrist in golf to get cupped. Now, the pivot is what enables that wrist to stay flat, okay? And even when I get to my follow through, I still want my left wrist to be flat. 
Okay? So at impact, I want my left wrist flat and I want my left wrist pointing at my target. If I got to impact and my left wrist looked like this, it's flat, but it's pointing over there. Notice where my club face is pointing. My club face is now open. So flat left wrist with the wrist at impact pointing at my target line. Okay, so the drill again is very simple. I'm going to move the Y with my pivot. I'm going to make sure that the, the club head end of my shaft points at the target line until I get to parallel and then I want my shaft to be parallel to the target line and I want my left wrist to be flat. Okay, and we're just going to hit very easy, very soft shots. Now what I like to do is I like to get in here and get set up and make a rehearsal or two. I use my eyes to make sure that that club is traveling on plane. Very good. Now, just going to hit a nice little easy one. Oh, and before I hit this ball, I do have this ball on a tee. It's teed up about a quarter of an inch or so. I like to use the tee. I don't want my students worrying about trying to get the ball airborne. Okay. So again, get set up. Little rehearsal. Use my eyes to make sure that shaft is on plane. Okay. Now hit me a little shot. pretty solid right there okay let's do that again okay here we go good setup now little rehearsal making sure that shaft is on plane now little soft shot Okay, kind of felt like I took that one back a little bit too far. If you will start doing this drill in your practice sessions, get yourself a big bucket of balls, come out, set up the station, your first 20, 25 golf balls, hit them doing this drill. It's going to help you find the club face more often. It's going to help you keep the club face more square, and you're going to hit much more solid shots. If you'd like to get some more information about me or follow me on social media, you can follow me on Instagram. It's at BrizGolf. I'll put it in the, sub the description of this video down below. Thanks a lot and hope this helps.